Ugh, are you gonna bomb photo bomb my video? I'm not planning to. What? Yeah. <clears throat> All right, let me get my head together. <clears throat> Welcome to TCTN, the Crazy Troll Nation of Network Crazy, because I am like the IFC channel's motto, always on but slightly off. I sometimes make up words, sometimes I speak gibberish, sometimes I say something and lose my train of thought and then forget what I was even talking about. And when I realize I do those things, I'll say, welcome to the crazy. Troll because I consider myself a, a troll, a cute troll, but a troll nonetheless. And so if all of that sounds good to you, feel free to subscribe and click the notification bell. I do um, different types of videos and it's easier for me just to have them all on one channel so I will label them accordingly so you can watch what you want to watch and not watch, watch what you do not want to watch. And sometimes I stumble over my words like I just did. Welcome to the crazy. This is a face of the day <laughs> using the Natasha Denona Lila palette. And this is a really simple look, and this video will be a lot shorter than the one I just uploaded. Today is December 22nd. It may be uploaded before the end of this year. So this is what the, the palette looks like. And the video I just uploaded, um, actually I uploaded it today. I used this palette. I mean this row. This whole thing is a palette. Welcome to the crazy. See what I mean? And so today I used <laughs> this last actually it's not even a column i mean a row it's a column welcome to the crazy i'm just babbling i'm nervous because my partner's in the kitchen fixing dinner and so i'm really just like beside myself do you see me standing right here but anyway <laughs> that's my baby that's my partner trevor so the, today i just used this column here i use this shade here on my crease and slightly above the crease this on the second half of my lid the outer half of the lid and I put this on the inner corner of the lid and I dropped a piece of paper thank you baby <laughs> I used the Tartese eyeliner um, and I'll show you which end in, in maybe like 40 seconds underneath my lower lash line and then I took this shade here and also put this under my lower lash line and I used the Lorac eyeliner on my upper lash line. No mascara today. The Fenty Brow Wiz in soft black. Um, let me show you this eyeliner. I like it. I don't really care for the felt tip side too much. This is their liquid eyeliner side. And this shade is in burgundy, which really doesn't even show up on me. The other side is a pencil side, which makes it great for... Oh, you know what? This is wound all the way up, and that's like all the product that's left. I haven't even had it that long, so I'm guessing the whole thing might have only been this long. And I will list all the colors of everything down below, so if you do have this palette, you can recreate this look or with other shadows that are in your collection. For primer, I didn't use primer today. I used my Olavi Generous Whip with Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 25. On the packaging, it says Moisturize, Prime, and sunscreen or something and i'm like prime i've used this as a primer and i know some people do just use their moisturizer or their spf lotion as a primer so i said i'm gonna try that today which i did and i'm still using the sample of the becca foundation which i do have one but i'm using up my two samples first i set my face with the non-calm long time no shine powder no this is not the case that goes with it but i put the powder in here because i like this and i like the sponge that it came with well the powder puff that it came with and i used the fenty beauty cashew setting powder on the perimeter of my face the fenty bajan gal on the perimeter of my face her caramel cutie in the hollows of my cheeks i used the nars blush in sin as a blush because it is a blush even though i know some people use them for eyeshadow and other things but i don't do things like that um you know i did that and didn't even tell you about the eyeshadow primer i use welcome to the crazy because now i'm like going back to the beginning the fenty eyeshadow primer and for concealer i used the sephora bright futures concealer in 11.5 butterscotch and i set all of that with the ben nye final seal this face i did this morning i started at like quarter to 12 and i finished at about 12 15 and it is now 9 30 at night so this face minus the touch up on my lip i had on for nine plus hours 
So what do you think? I think it still looks good. And on my lips is one of the Shishido Lip Lacquer. And again, I will put all the colors below. This one is 308 Patent Plum. And so thank you for watching this video. I did pick, take pictures. Um, I'll see how they look and if I upload them. And I took them in landscape. I'm sorry, I took them in portrait. And so attaching them to the video, it'll just look weird. But welcome to the crazy because that's what my channel is. It's just kind of like, whatever. <laughs> He's like really paying me no attention, but that's okay. Yeah, he's so cute. You wanna see him again? <laughs> oh, this is the one when I say my partner got me my oh. handy dandy foster <laughs> reading glasses. Yeah, that's the guy. And so thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Leave your comments below if you have any. Let me know if you always use face primer or if you sometimes use your face moisturizer as your primer and how it works for you. Cause I'm really liking it, but it was like 35 degrees today. So it wasn't warm while I was sweating to see if my foundation moved or not but then with the Ben Nye final seal it wouldn't have moved much anyway um yeah so before I start babbling I'll see you guys in the next video actually you guys will see me in the next video bye guys <laughs>